with these Targa events, it's not just about the competition cars. Obviously, we have the Targa Tour as well, which is not competitive. But around the event, we have a lot of different people helping. Without their help, we just wouldn't be able to do this. And uh, Graham Cockrell, you drive the what we call a double zero car, and that's all hooked up through VTNZ. Behind you is the zero car with Dennis. Again, VTNZ colours. Yep. What is the role of the double zero and the zero car on these type of events? Okay, um, basically, I'm first on the road. I go about five minutes before the first competitor. My role is to essentially warn people that competitor cars are coming, but we also have a role of looking for any issues like um, tapes that may have blown down. We've struck houses on the road, we've struck cattle, we've had buses coming the other way. You've struck, not literally struck houses no, on the road. <laughs> in Taranaki we had a guy that was a bit upset about the whole thing and he was moving his house and he decided to move it onto the road in place because he didn't want it to go. So Even I haven't heard that no, story. Yeah, uh, School buses coming the other way. We also do a bit of escorting of school buses if people need to. So we're kind of, we're the first competitive car on the road but we are looking for anything, any issues. We report slippery roads or um, like yesterday we had uh, somebody had run their cows across the road and there was about 50 metres of cow dung all over the road. We call that back and try and warn the competitors so that they can be aware of at 23k there's this. And, we, and then Dennis is behind me, he's doing the same thing but he just basically confirms or denies what I'm saying. So both cars aren't standard road cars, they're actually, they're effectively both race cars. Your your rally car here, the Evo, would be competitive in this field. Yeah, absolutely. Mine's, uh, this is a rally art built car, so mm -hmm. essentially closest thing you can get to a factory built car. Um, yeah, it was, it was a competitive car in its day, you know, in Rally New Zealand. So, you know, um, yeah, it's been around a long time and um, it's only ever been a rally car, never been a road car. And from a VTNZ point of view, I mean these cars now have become some of the most familiar cars in New Zealand motorsport from a target point of view because of the colours and the involvement with VTNZ. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you know the colours look fantastic. They've done a really, really good job. And um, yeah, it's we just become part of the part of the whole thing, and people expect to see us. So it's great. Well, that's one of the things that I mean I've got to know you obviously through these events, and you guys have a lot of fun. When we first started, it was about. How many bird strikes? Yeah. Have, you, have, you, have you struck any birds this weekend so far? No, but we're trying. We're still trying, yeah. And you've sacked the young fella? No, Brad um, went overseas, so he's crewing for us at the moment, so that's good. But, um, yeah, no, it's, I, th I think it's one of the best jobs you could do in Target. You know, it's pretty relaxed, but we've got to be serious on the road, but um, it's, it's an awful lot of fun. So it's not just about being in the, in the competitor lineup or the Target Tour. You can have a lot of fun. Probably not a motorsport volunteer, Graham, but there are a lot of spots around these type of events with with Rally New Zealand, with the Rally Championships and Targa New Zealand from a volunteer point of view, from timing, from going out there and helping out with the security and, and the Park Ferme. So if you want to get involved, just uh, look up www.targa.co.nz, talk to the team and see how you can get involved.